welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing this smoked out wing liner look and I love it I love it so much I actually wore this look for my anniversary dinner and I really originally wanted to do a get ready with me but I was in such a rush that I didn't get to do it and I actually like it th this time so much better than the first time because I was in such a rush I didn't get to take my time to really do it correctly the way that I had envisioned it so I am so glad that I didn't get to film it that day because now I think that you guys will get the full benefit of it and actually maybe learn something this time around so anyways I hope you guys like this look and if you would like to see how I got it then go ahead and keep on watching need some hydration first do you guys like my little my little headband here I love it so I'm gonna start off with my Mac soft ochre paint pot and yes I'm aware that mine looks disgusting but it works Eyeshadows today I'm going to be sticking with my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows so I'm first going to start off with this one here and I believe this one is called buttery and I'm just going to be applying that color all over my lid with a large fluffy brush I'm going to be taking orange soda which is this shade right here and it's just like a light orange shade and I'm just going to be applying this into my crease small pencil brush I'm gonna be taking this shade here which I believe is Sienna actually before we do that I'm just gonna go ahead and put some tape down because the first time that I did this I wish I had applied some tape just to make my life that much easier I'm just gonna go ahead and do that so I'm just using regular like scotch tape and I'm just taking off the excess sticky on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to place it at the angle that I want it to be so you just want to make sure that they're as close as possible to each other like I mean the angles are as close as possible um, but if it's not perfect don't worry about it we can come back and clean that up later uh, but yeah so I'm just gonna take Sienna now and I'm just going to follow this angle and then bring it slightly into the crease and I'm not gonna take it too far in there I'm just gonna use it strictly out here and then when I blend it whatever I blend onto the brush is what's going to go in here but you definitely don't want to bring too much of it in the main focus of this look is going to be right here on the outer part now I'm going to be taking this small Sedona Lace EB15 blending brush and with this brush with no product on it that's what I'm going to use to blend this into the crease and a little bit onto the lid going to continue to do the same process applying the sienna shade blending it out and then um reapplying until i get the intensity that i that i want same little brush i'm going to be taking this shade here which i believe is called aubergine i believe that's that shade i'm like 90% positive anyways I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on the brush and just repeat the same step pretty much applying it to closest to the lash line and then bringing up the excess product into the crease and with every darker shade you just want to bring it slightly lower than the last shade so that you can see a slight gradient of course you just want to apply it and then with the clean blending brush you just want to diffuse that color. Now with an angled eyeliner brush, I'm just going to be taking a black matte shade. Black matte shade. I don't know what I said before. But anyways, I'm just going to use this like I would a regular gel liner or something. And I'm just going to use this to line my eye. So 
now with the little pencil brush that we've been using, I'm just going to blend this color out. And re-intensify it and continue just doing those steps until you find that the lash line is as intense as you want it but also very smoky so just go ahead and repeat those steps and I'm mostly moving the brush back and forth so that the color doesn't go too far up into the crease because we want to keep that black closest to the lash line Then you might want to just take the larger brushes and just kind of make sure that everything is getting nice and blended out evenly and all that good stuff. Alrighty, so you want to make sure to take your time with that step so that it's nice and smoky and it stays where you want it. Now, for me, I have hooded lids, so the black always transfers no matter how careful I am. If you don't have, like hooded lids and you have like deep set eyes or something this is going to look even better so what I'm going to do to kind of blend that little bit of black that I have in the eyelid there I already gone ahead and did it on this one I'm going to take a little bit of sienna and I'm just going to go over it basically and just make sure to blend it out and I'm going to use that shade to just go over the black as well just to blend everything together and I might even take a little bit of the aubergine shade, which was a little bit darker, and just get closer down here. And just, you know, just go back and forth with the colors that you want and you think you need. Um, but again, try to stay really close um, to the outer part and just be very mindful of where you're placing these colors because... Once you place them, they're kind of there. So now I'm just going to take the original blending brush, a little bit more of orange soda, and just go over the edges of everything just to make sure that everything is like nicely blended. And this is a very like intense blending look. So just want to make sure to take your time to do that and... Now, you can either leave the tape on or take it off. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on just because it's easier for me. But I'm just now going to line my lids. And I'm going to be using my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77, which is just a black liner. And again, I'm just going to create a really super thin line, keeping it closer to the lash line more than anything. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And if your eyeliner is like not super perfect or anything, I love this look for this because now you can just take a pencil brush and just go over it with some black eyeshadow and the intensity of the gel liner will still be there. But if it's not perfect, like you won't be able to tell too much. See what I mean? Once you apply a little bit of eyeshadow over it, it kind of fades it out for you. So gonna go ahead and do that on both sides now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the tape off eh. so with a clean wipe I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the edge here here all I'm gonna do is apply mascara and some lashes and let me show you my lashes for today I personally don't think these are the best looking lashes with this, but when I bought them, I just wanted something really dramatic because I thought I was going to go a completely different way with this makeup, but whatever. So these are Kiss Lashes. I will have to look the name of these specific ones, um, and I will leave it linked down below because I threw away the box, so I have to look them up. I want to say they were called something like Lily or something like that, but... Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara and then my lashes. Did I say that already? Probably. Okay. To prime my face today, I'm going to be using this new Physicians Formula. What is this called? Primer Argan Wear. And it's argan oil with coconut water. I tried it the other day and I feel like it burned my skin. 
So I just wanted to try one more time to see if it actually was this or something else. I don't know, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try it and hope for the best. Spray on this is so freaking weird. It like drops like droplets. I don't like it. Okay, it didn't burn this time. I would suggest if you are gonna use that primer to use it before you start off on your face. Like before you start off on your eyes, I mean. Because if it gets on your eyeshadow or something, I feel like it'll remove it. I want very dewy, very um, glowy skin. So to achieve that, I'm going to be using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. So actually, I'm just going to go ahead and mix it in with my foundation. I was going to apply beforehand, but I'll just mix it in. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation in C4 and mixing it in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 6.5. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this in with my Beauty Blender. You can use a brush if you'd like. Same difference. I don't know how I get like eyeshadow and eyeliner everywhere. Just doesn't make any sense to me. For concealer today, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And I'm just going to be applying this underneath my eyes and down the center part of my face. Concealer. I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I think that's, yeah. Invisible Loose Setting Powder. I'm also going to use that powder to set the center part of my face where I applied my concealer. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my Hello Flawless by Benefit. I'm going to go into my Laura Pro Contour Palette and I'm going to be taking a little bit of the highlight yellow and the beige highlight and applying this underneath my eye to really brighten up the area and I'm just going to be taking it down in like a triangle motion. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the light contour shade on the same brush and I'm lightly going to contour. Now with my Milani Baked Bronzer, I'm just going to go ahead and bronze the rest of my face. So for blush, I'm going to be using this one by Smashbox. This one is called Sunset, but any neutral peachy tone blush will do. Of course, you just want to apply that to the apples of the cheeks and then bring it back. So now I'm going to go ahead in with highlighter and I'm going to be using Becca's Opal highlighter which looks like this. It's beautiful. And I'm going to be mixing it uh, and I'm going to be mixing it with Makeup Forever's Pro Sculpting Duo in number 2. Mine unfortunately shattered oh, everywhere. So, yeah. That just what it looks like but anyway so I'm just gonna be mixing the two and I hate that it's shattered because then it's like a pain in the butt to work with you know what I mean I think you know what I mean if you've ever had a broken highlighter <laughs> and I'm just gonna apply it to the tops of my cheekbones now with the smaller brush I'm just gonna apply some to the tip of my nose and also to the sides here of my nasals. My nasal cavity? No. You guys know what I'm talking about. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. But here on the sides of my nose, I'm also going to apply just a little bit. And then on my cupid's bow. So now I'm going to take... So now I'm going to be taking my Mario Badescu facial spray. And I'm just going to spritz my face. Go ahead and apply some mascara so that is it for the eyes and the face now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off with the lips and I'm gonna be taking my Mac cherry lip liner I'm gonna fill up 
filament with this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Romance. This was one of their limited edition shades, but they have come out with really similar shades. So that completes the look once the lip is on and of course you can use any lip color that you want I feel like the eyes are so neutral that you literally could get away with using any colors on the eyes now I didn't put in a inner corner highlight I just remembered but I'm actually just gonna use a matte shade and I'm just gonna use these from the Naked Basics palette and I'm just gonna mix Foxy and Walk of Shame which are these two here and I'm just going to apply a little bit to the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. So now it's completely done for real this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love it even more than the day that I first created this look. I hope it's not too similar to anything that I've done in the past. I hope that it's quite different and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye!